what's up guys, Tom here back some more Minecraft Swag, I'm playing on, fuck, forgot the name of this map, wait, it'll come to me, Treacherous Heights, no, Rugged Lands, this is Rugged Lands, and it's kind of weird right now, because it's only 9.45, and the server's pretty much empty, I'm playing on, I think it's like server 5, and for some reason, I'm getting absolutely, uh, no one in the game, I think there's like, a couple people at best, which is kind of cool, because, um, you get to play it when uh, multiple people get multiple stuff from chests, except, uh, when I do it, I kind of get a weapon and then destroy everyone else, because that's fun, um, I'm gonna kill all these people, there's only 10 people left already, it's kind of weird, uh, not to mention when I'm done, it'll be, um, what, like, there's gonna be, as long as I can kill this guy right here, there's gonna be 7 people left, and it's only, like, I'd say, 30 seconds into the match, which is kind of weird, but it's gonna be one of those games where I just scour the map doing nothing forever. If the game ends within like a couple uh, seconds, what I'll do is I'll leave and go into another game and I'll just do like a little jump cut thing well, and uh, we'll be good. So, um, g good news is this morning I got my paycheck and I went and bought a camera um, if, if for my uh, videos that I'm gonna do with the camera. And uh, if you're wondering uh, what camera I got, it is the Canon PowerShot, I think that's what it is, it's like PS, uh, S110, I think it was. It cost me like 350 bucks. it was a sale on, Am uh, on Amazon, I'm not sponsored by them because you know it cost me money, I'm assuming if I was sponsored by something they'd send me the product for free and then force me to uh, like give some sort of advertisement pitch or something, I don't know. Point is, uh, we got that camera. It's uh, getting in the mail here tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to film the 20k special uh, the same day. Because I'm not really sure when I'm gonna hit 20k. Because I'm as I'm recording this, I have 19,000 like 950 or something like that. So good news is, is we're gonna hit 20k. It's gonna be a really big milestone. It's gonna be the best thing in the world. Uh, somewhat weird bad news. Ugh, the bad news is I put my drink way back there. If you can see it, I should probably go get that right now. I'm gonna be right back in two seconds. Hopefully no one kills me. Technically, you can still hear me right now, but I was like halfway across the classroom. The classroom? What the heck is wrong with me? I'm not in class. I'm in, at home right now. Probably is um, my subconscious telling me that I have schoolwork to do that I don't really want to do yet because it's not due tomorrow. It's due the day after, except I'm kind of screwing myself over by waiting for the last minute. But I don't care. That's what I do. I'm Tomahawk. I do what I want, except I, I kind of don't refer to myself as Tomahawk in the real world. I kind of refer to myself as Julio in the real world. And I'm going to get some good stuff. I just realized I had a, a diamond already, which is kind of cool. There's someone down there. I have no idea how to get to them, though. Um, oh, wait. Huh, now I do. I didn't know there was just a weird little water thingy that just took me straight down to him. So that's cool. Where are you, though? Oh, you're right there. Give me. You're out of here. Oh, jeez, you have a stone sword. That's dangerous. Hot and dangerous. If you're one of us, then roll with us. Okay, I think you had a stone sword. I'm trying to find where it is. Maybe it's on the floor. Right over here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't know where you are. Gang. It's disappeared. Oh, I see I see some pork chops. Maybe it's nearby. Pork chops. Food. Don't see the sword. Eh, we'll live without it. It's kind of annoying how I didn't find it, though. It's probably still up there. And I didn't take note of it, which kind of sucks. Oh, well. So today, at school, nothing really interesting happened. But what I found out is... um. There, yeah, you know what school dances are, right? Well, obviously, you, if you're uh, in, in like middle school or high school, you know what school dances are. And there's a dispenser right there. I wonder what that does. Um, and you go to your school dances, and the super fun time. And, you know, you hang out with your friends or whatever. Except I'm, you know, a not social person, so I tend not to try not to go to dances. Even though I went to one of them last year, because I think the three dances or what the dances are: homecoming. And this is in high school, by the way. Um, there's homecoming, winter formal, Sadie Hawkins. And prom, I'm feeling that's all of them. I mean, that, that are the main ones, right? I think. And um, there's there's this one that we uh, used to have. It's, it's called Dance Marathon, but uh, they don't do that anymore. It was used for charity. They raised like twenty thousand dollars last time it was doing a thing. But uh, people were very inappropriate. Uh, uh, that's as far as I'm gonna go. Um, if you want to know, uh, just look up my city. And if you don't know my city, um, find my city, which is kind of weird. Um, and look up what the hell happened during Dance Marathon because it made it so they made it. They made it. Made it. Made it. Made it. Made it. So we would never have a dance marathon ever again because of the way people were behaving. Actually, might as well tell you, people were pretty much having sex on the dance floor. I'm not kidding. That's how it was. And, um, you know, obviously like drugs and stuff, but it was it was ridiculous. It made the news about how bad it was, which is kind of funny. 
Um, kind of sad that I didn't get to people watch when it happened because um, I wasn't uh, I was in eighth grade at the time when the first, when the uh, craziness had occurred. So I missed it by one year. Damn it! Why couldn't I be one year older? I'm not kidding. I don't really care about that sort of thing. Seeing as um, I am an antisocial person, so I didn't uh, ask anyone at a dance um, this time because homecoming is about to come around uh, for us, and um, I guess it's gonna be fun or whatever. All my friends asked out all our other friends to the dance, and it's making me feel like. I need to get a date even though I'm not planning on going, and I think tickets like sell out starting tomorrow or something. Or, like, they, they stop selling the day after tomorrow, but honestly, don't care about going to a dance. I wasn't planning on going to it in the first place. Uh, the only reason I went last year was because I had a girlfriend, and then that person ended up being crazy, so we're good. We're good about that. I don't like talking about personal things. Well, actually, I do like talking about personal things on these uh videos of mine because i like to share parts of my life with you and maybe you can relate if you know if i share some of my happy times it may might you be like hey i had those kind of happy times before in my life and then we could be like happy times together and we could all be best friends or something and then whenever i talk about the bad times you could uh look at your bad times and look at my bad times and say either my bad times are obviously a lot worse than this person i'm depressed i deserve to be depressed because my issues are worse than everyone else's or you could be like damn tom hawk had it bad at certain points in his life um and i should probably be appreciative of the things i have or something i don't really know because i honestly everything i have I, i'm a very privileged person i go to a nice school i live in a nice area um i'm moderately um i, I would say i'm not i wouldn't say i'm financially secure because uh family uh obviously it doesn't have the most money at the time being but um I'd say like I'm on the uh, if if compared to other people I am financially secure, but uh, and then obviously people are like you're you're famous on YouTube, which I still don't consider myself famous on YouTube. I just don't see it yet. Um, like it's awesome that we're having twenty thousand subscribers. I don't what classify. Oof, I just burped. Sorry. Um, what classifies as famous, right? Um, is it considered to? Is there a certain like number that would consider you people uh, people famous? Because I don't necessarily consider like subscribers are an important number, right? But in the world, uh, if people are telling you what matters, um, if you wanted to make a business out of YouTube, let's just say that um, you you manage to get lots and lots of views, but you only have fifty subscribers. I don't know if I've explained this before, but views are the things that get YouTubers money. The reason being is you view a video. And you view an advertisement, and then that part partially pay pays for someone's um, someone's paycheck because that adver advertisement part of the revenue goes to the YouTuber, part of it goes to the to YouTube itself, and the rest goes to uh, is just I don't know, it's like lost in the dust or something. But point is, um, YouTubers get paid um, either a, a percentage for um, oh geez, I'm gonna die right here probably because there's two of them. Uh, they either get a paid a percentage per thousand views of their like earnings or earned or they earned a f or a flat number right um i'm not really going to tell you what i make because i like to keep that sort of thing private but most youtubers get a percentage because that's just what uh companies decide to do and um that's also what google adsense does so what these people um while they do find their subscribers very vi valuable um it's they, they really care they would care about views if they were trying to make a living off of it because obviously they need the, as many views as they can in order to get the um to get like more money so it, likes uh while likes and subscribers do contribute to it because it allows people to come back and view the videos over and over again in the short term views are essentially the best thing um likes allow uh like the videos oh my god there's everyone in the freaking game going after me um likes a lot of the videos to be spread like they, they, they uh, show up on the recent uh the suggested video side it kind of gives the video more credibility that's why people ask for likes and stuff i'm not necessarily a person to ask for likes i'm just saying hey do whatever you want because i i'm not one to leave ratings or anything because i'm a really lazy person so if that explains some sort of stuff i'm hoping it does uh, i'm gonna die here because i'm getting triple teamed this is literally every single person that's left alive is coming after me which is not good Actually, no, one of them isn't going. It's almost every single person that's left alive. All right, I'm going to kill you. Okay, you're done. Okay, I'm going to run away now because I'm at two hearts. Okay, do some parkour because deathmatch is about to happen. I might do another game because this has only gone for about 10 minutes. I kind of want to keep talking. So, um, right, I'm going to keep on going. Personally, I um, am, uh, when it comes to YouTube, I don't care about money. It's just a thing. Uh, mostly because I'm 15 years old. Yes, I'm 15 years old. People keep questioning what my age is. Um, my birthday is April 24th, by the way, 1998. 
Um, well, I'm just gonna drop down really quick. All right, there we go. So, um, I'm not a person who cares about money because I'm 15 years old. I don't need to be worrying about money until I'm like 18. And uh, even then, I'm not really necessarily worried about money. I'm just worried about student loans because uh, that'll be really bad going to college like that. But I'm going to keep on running. Oh, no, no, you're not chasing me anymore. We're good. We're good. I'm going to take this and put those boots on. All right, there's two people left. It's only me and then one other guy. Um, right. Um, personally, I care about uh, making other people happy. Like, that, that may sound very cliche, but um, I find myself being my, like I'm personally entertained by making videos, and it's kind of like a double win if why, by watching other people, why people watching my videos, they're entertained as well. If that kind of makes any sense for you guys, hopefully it does, and I'm not sounding like a cliche asshole, but um, that's pretty much my belief on videos, and not to mention. Um, I kind of like that little, like, I like the feedback where people are like, your videos are awesome, it, make, it, 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 it makes me feel good, okay, it makes me feel amazing. So, um, I think since this video's only gone for about 11 minutes, I will pop into another lobby and then uh, we'll play for two games. So, you guys get a two video special, good for you guys, but I'm gonna flip to the next video now. Alright, we're back, and uh, we're playing on Icarus now. So, uh, something I want to talk about that I've, um, that, what, like, something that I've, um, what do you call it? I've talked about it in a previous video, but this is a video a long time ago, or at least a long time ago in this same series. Um, the, type of, the title of the video is How Much Do You Pay to Watch YouTube? And um, seeing as it's relevant to so sort of the thing that I'm talking about right now, might as well talk about it again because some people haven't watched that video and I'd like to uh, explain it a second time because it's kind of an interesting topic or uh, something that I kind of found really cool when I was thinking about it because... Um, sadly, YouTube doesn't have the feature to let you view, uh, you, you know, if you uh, click the little thingy, it tells you, uh, your history of videos, but I think it only goes up to a certain number of videos and then it doesn't, like, it resets or something, because I know I've watched well over 200 videos of, of YouTube in my entire time watching YouTube. But, the question arises, since people make ad revenue off of your YouTube money, or, no, off, off of your, you watching YouTube, how much do you theoretically pay to watch YouTube videos? You're probably saying, no, I don't watch anything to pay YouTube videos. Well, technically, advertisements pay people. So, technically speaking, you are handing theoretical money away by watching advertisements. Because people will pay to make you watch advertisements. While making, being, uh, watching advertisements may be a terrible job and probably wouldn't pay that well, if you are a person who can magically teleport or magically divide into millions and millions of people uh, with a click of a button or something, then it makes big, large numbers because companies want to get their product out there. So they'll pay a certain amount for every, um, the standard on YouTube is every thousand views. And I might as well go ahead and uh, throw a number out there just for the sake of argument so I could do the rest of my mouth, cal mouth calculations um, based off of it. Let's just say you get a uh, person gets two dollars for every thousand views. Well, you're probably thinking that's not that much for such a big number. It really, um, if you think about it in the short term, it's it's not it's like that's a lot of people, but really it isn't. There's seven, I think at this at this point there's seven billion people in the world. So if these seven billion people were all to watch a single YouTube video, that video would get seven billion views. It would instantly be the first, um, the number one YouTube video on the web or like have to have the most views and that would be absolutely crazy if just overnight so every single person in the world watched one video and that's there and everyone watches the 30 second pre-roll ad uh, that YouTube likes to put on the videos and uh, theoretically speaking if you take three zeros off of that billion, because um, for a thousand, uh, let's just a thousand, right? And then you take off three zeros, then you have a one, and then you multiply it by two, then you get the two dollars for a thousand views. That uh, that's pretty simple. Uh, so what we want to do is th take three zeros off of the number. Shit, I'm gonna die. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. We're going down, down, down. Okay, and probably gonna have to cut to the right here because I'm gonna. Okay, am I still being chased? I don't even know. Don't even know. I don't think so. Good. All right, there's just a weapon in there that doesn't even need. Um, <clears throat> so those seven billion people watch it, and then you take three zeros off, so then you get seven million. Then you get that seven million, and then you multiply it by two. Then you get fourteen million. That is fourteen million dollars for people to watch a YouTube video. That's a lot of money, but theoretically speaking, that's um, in in if you were to want to get the entire population of the planet to watch one advertisement, you uh, as an advertiser would obviously pay tons of money. That's why they theoretically pay fourteen million dollars for that to happen. Makes sense so far, hopefully. So as you as a viewer, how many YouTube videos do you watch? Personally, each and every day, I find myself watching anywhere from ten to twenty videos. Let's just say uh, it's it's ten videos. So I watch ten videos every single day for an entire year. 
So that makes it what? 300, uh, 3,650 videos, I think, if roughly estimated. So 3,650 videos, um, I'm trying to think here, 3,650 total, and then that's 3,650 views. So 3,000, uh, that, that much, and then you multiply it by two, or sorry, you take off three zeros, and then you multiply it by two. So really, to watch YouTube videos, if you were to watch 10 videos a day uh, for the rest of the YouTube time, you're paying like $3, which is, or it's like $6, which is really good for like an entire YouTube subscription to watch any video you want, or at least any 10 videos you want for a d each day, each time. So you as an individual, you don't pay much to watch a YouTube video. That's because as a whole, YouTube with thousands of viewers each and every day, I think it's like every second, um, 28 hours of footage is uploaded or something ridiculous, or that might be like every minute. But as a collective, it works. That's why um, certain businesses can't make a profit uh, to keep the business running on a small scale, but on a very large scale, they're allowed to make very good deals because of the massive amounts of people that do it. It's kind of like how um, companies work. They could give you a 99 cent McDonald's uh, cheeseburger because as a, uh, on a minuscule thing, they probably make a fraction of a cent each time you do it, or at least maybe like one cent. But as the numbers accumulate and there's thousands and thousands of people buying your cheeseburger, then you're making lots of money. That's how business works. And I hope you learned something, but I'm probably going to die right here. That kind of sucks because I'm probably getting teamed. Actually, now that we're not teamed better, it's all together. These people are like, no. Um, I'm probably gonna end it right here. I, di I didn't expect to uh, last this entire game. I just wanted to finish off my explanation of how, um, of how like how YouTube and business works as a as kind of a little bit. Uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't uh, learn something. Maybe you already watched the video from last time. Um, but I do suggest you watch the other video. It's called the "How Much Do You Pay to Watch YouTube Videos." I feel like that one uh, may have explained it slightly different than I have now. I, I kind of included the business aspect of it in this one, but not the other one. I think I talked about um, other stuff in the video a little bit more. About I talked about uh, how the number one most video, how much money that makes, stuff like that. So you should look at that one um, if you want to, if you have some extra spare time, or maybe you should be doing your homework right now. If you are, you should do that. Anyway. Anyways, I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of MCSG with Tomahawk, and I hope you guys have a nice day, please. Bruh!